guest here put a fan TV, I'm outside Ashton Gate. We've beaten Bristol City 2 0. I have Stanley with me. Still 2 0, mate. Yeah, yeah. Um, not great, was it? I think I, I checked my phone at half time, it was 72% possession to us. It means nothing when you're playing Tony Pulis. Um, you guys, he's the master, isn't he? Both, both boxes, attacking and defending, you're great. Um, you had a centre about Aiden Flint, he looked all right. I don't know where he got him from, but he looked good. Um, he almost scored. Got him cheap. Yeah, I know, I know. From some small club down this way. Um, it's annoying. It's not the same as, uh, as last season, but I guess that's how this thing works. I get to smile. Maybe if we beat you next time, I'll be smiling, you'll be frowning. When you look at the players that Bristol City have lost, you've lost Bobby Reid, you've lost Flint, you've lost, is it Brian, Brian. Joe Bryan, the fullback. Yeah. They were three of your top Probably. players last season. We've lost, you know, we've lost Triore, Gibson, we've lost a couple. Mm. But the difference from last season to this season between the sides, it's evident to see there what you've lost more. <laughs> Parachute payments, I think that's the key the key phrase. Yeah, Adam Atroyo, 18 million you got for him to Wolves. Bamford went for big money as well, Gibson to Burnley. Um, but you can buy the Aiden Flint to the championship. We can't. We have to try and get your Adam Webster's. We have to try and get, you know, Jack Hunt we need. Left back, we have, have we replaced Brian? I like Kelly, he was at centre-back today instead of left back. It's not his normal position, but he did great. Um, Vyman to replace Reed. I'm not sure. I like the look of Vyman, but I don't think he's going to get 20 goals. I like the look of Barra, to be fair. I know it's Tony Pulis and we should sort of, you know, give him pelters from the stands. They're not boring. Mm, I mean, you guys didn't get on the ball enough, really, to sort of impose a style. I don't, I'm not, I'm not into that style of football, really. I sort of, you know, when I watch that Fletcher Madrid, I'm like, mm, I don't like this. I'd rather they were on the ball. But when you guys were on the ball, you broke fast. You got some great players. I wish Tavernier was playing instead of Downing because I hate Stuart Downing, even though he got an assist. I think Tavernier is good. Dale Fry is a youngster. I think you guys, you should be looking at a top, you know, top four, maybe sneaking top two finish, really, because there aren't that many strong teams at the moment. Certainly at the top. There's not, there's not many players, like you say, wanting to either drop down into the championship. That's how it seems to be this season, Stanley. I think, well, I think it's, it's an interesting summer for you guys. I know the loan to buy window is still open. Balassi is someone that I know you've been linked with heavily. That'd be a crazy signing. And then, you know, if you have Balassi on one wing, Tavernier on the other, or Downing and Balassi, I think that'd be good. Um, I, I, you know, I think I wouldn't be surprised if Borough makes some big signings between now and the end of the loan to buy window. And yeah, uh, hopefully I'll go up to the other side and I'll be smiling slightly more than I am today. So are you quite optimistic? Do you feel there's something in Bristol's performance to see things are getting better? Oh, I don't know about better. It's sort of stayed the same in the first three games, really. Forrest, Bolton and Borough. We haven't won a game yet. and We lost to Plymouth in the Carabao Cup. Um, the wingers was the weird thing today. This is the, we changed both our wingers this game. For the first two, we had Odalda and Eliasson quite attacking. They'll go out the full back, whip it in. Um, and that didn't happen today. With, uh, we had sort of Patterson on one wing, Brown on the other. It just... It didn't happen too much in the middle. Fullbacks weren't bumming on. Um, certainly questions of Johnson. I'm not one of these people that gets up and boos at half time. I hate that. I hate that. Um, shout out to AGT. He probably was booing it. If he was a City fan, he'd be booing, wouldn't he? But um, it's worrying. It's worrying. But, you know, I'll take a mediocre season mid table with, you know, a consistent trajectory of points. That'd be nice because I don't think my heart can take another 10 losses in a row and a Carabao Cup semi final at the same time. Stanley, thanks for coming on for yeah, the fan no TV. Worries, no.